Here we are back into call control again and we're now going to look at two options. We're going to look at paging groups and pickup groups. They work very similar so we're going to go and cover both of those in the same module. So as I look at this uh, paging group, you remember uh, we talked about paging earlier when we were looking in the users so we'll reference that back in a second but here we go. I want to create a paging group. I click new it then pops up the screen. I name it and I assign it an extension number. So this is where you assign a paging group that you would want to page over the telephones or a paging group that would page over the telephones and your external paging at the same time and we incorporate that as an extension number. Uh, we normally do not put it in the directory. We usually make it private and we want to leave this option two rings alone. Now here's where we connect back to users. So remember we created that extension list earlier so I'm going to click on users and I'm going to click on extension lists and you see there is my page group. So I've already put my members in that page group and now I'm assigning that group through the paging group to page through that extension list. So once I've done that and I've hit save, I've now got a paging group. So as soon as I dial 690, it's going to page the individual phones and it's going to page in overhead. So that's pretty much paging in a nutshell in that particular section. Now we're going to look at pickup groups. Pickup groups work identically the same here as a paging group. So I'm going to create a new pickup group and I'm going to call this, um, let's call this uh, office. So it's an office pickup group. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it an extension number. I'm going to give it an extension number. It doesn't matter. These are random extension numbers. They're just not in the extension number series of the phones. You'll notice it has a switch. We ran into that when we were looking at hunt groups. It has to be managed by a switch. And then we need to pick the group again out of our um, extension list for pickup. So if I hit save, now what's going to happen is if I on my phone will have a pickup button or I could have a pickup button on my call manager. If the button on your call manager is pressed, we're going to actually put that extension 400 in there and you'll click on that and any phone that's ringing that's in that particular extension list for the pickup group, you'll be able to answer. Also, if you were to hit the pickup button on your phone and dial 400, you would pick up any phone that's ringing in that pickup group. So you can see it's very straightforward. It needs an extension number so that you can dial it from any phone as well as if you were going to assign it in the um, call manager. Uh, so that pretty much wraps up both paging and pickup.